Updates to beloved gadgets can go one of two ways. Either a company tries to fix what ain't bro broke or builds upon a great foundation to create an even better product. For fans of the popular German Forerunner 245, I am happy to say that the new 350 bucks Forerunner 255S is the latter. The result is a mid-range running watch that punches far above its weight. Besides some refreshed colorways, the Forerunner 255 lineup looks nearly identical to its predecessor. This ain't the sleekest wearables on the market, but they are not a crime against fashion later. But they are not a crime against fashion either. If you go for a more muted color, this can easily transition from everyday life to the gym. The notable changes here is that Jarmin now offers four versions of the watch instead of two. I reviewed the smaller 255S which has a 41mm case and weighs 39 grams. If you have larger wrists, there's also a 46 mm version that weighs 49 grams. That's roughly the same as an Apple Watch and much lighter than the flagship GPS watches like the Polar Gritex Pro or the Coros Vertex 2. Each size also has a music version if you want onboard music storage. I deeply appreciate that Jarmin puts in the effort so people of all sizes can use their devices. For me, the smaller Forerunner 255S is the perfect size and way for my wrists. In the three weeks I tested the 255S, it never once got caught on my sleeves and I never noticed its weight during a workout. After testing some truly chunky multi-sport GPS watches over the years, it feels so good that I don't have to compromise between useful training tools and comfort. With the Forerunner 255 series, it's less about big updates than it is about a bunch of little ones that improve upon the core experiences. For starters, the Forerunner 255 offers a better heart rate sensor, adds a barometric altimeter and compass, multiband GPS and an NFC chip for contactless payments. This might not seem like much, but it's been 3 years since the Forerunner 245. That's long time for wearable tech, for example, NFC was less common on mid-range watches back then but it is considered a fairly standard feature now. Is Jarmin Pay the best of the mobile payment options on smartwatches? Not really, but it works and opens up more opportunities to leave your wallet at home. Likewise, heart rate sensors have leveled up in this time span as well. There are all savvy upgrades that will help future-proof the 255S. Battery life has also been slightly improved to an estimated 12 days on a single charge. I've only had to change the Forerunner 255S once in 25 days of use with roughly 30 minutes of GPS activity per day. And as of this writing, I've still got 15% left. It helps that 255S uses a memory in pixel display for better visibility in direct sunlight instead of a power guzzling OLED. It's prudent choice here as this is a watch aimed to outdoor runners and clearly prioritize and, cle and clearly prioritizes battery life over fancier features like a vibrant touchscreen. Aside from NFC payments, you are not going to get more than the basic smart features like alarms, timers, push notifications, media controls, calendar events, and weather. All of these updates, multiband GPS is the big one. In a natural multiband GPS allows a watch to access more than one major satellite system at the same time. The benefit is you will get better accuracy in challenging environments as you might imagine it's an attractive feature for intrepid hikers, trail runners and cyclists. 
but it's actually kind of bonkers to find multiband GPS at this price. Not only is it a fairly new feature to the space, but it's also typically found on premium fitness watches. To test the feature, I turned on the multiband GPS setting on the Forerunner 255S while simultaneously recording runs with the Apple Watch Series 7 and the RunKeeper app on my phone. You will always find differences when testing multiple devices this way. But the Forerunner 255S was consistently spot on with local routes I mapped on Comfort, for instance on a 2.85 mile route. The Forerunner 255S logged 2.86 miles, my phone registered 2.84 miles, while the 2.81 miles on the Series 7. These discrepancies might be a bigger issue if you are running ultra long distances, but for most people it's more than accurate enough. The 255S is also capable of monitoring other metrics, heart rate tracking was also on par with the Series 7 and my Polar H10 chest strap you usually staying within three to five beats per minute sleep tracking also largely corresponded with my aura ring though it wasn't as sensitive in tracking all those times the pesky cat woke me up during the night in general German sleep tracking isn't the place to go for in-depth sleep quality insights it's much more simplistic than what you will find on a Fitbit or the Aura Ring. And if you are looking for recovery insights, Jarmin has several other metrics that are more helpful like body battery and training load. That's because at the end of the day, the Forerunner 255S isn't a health variable in the way the Aura Ring and Apple Watch are. It's for training and, speci and specifically it based suits runners with the 255s you got two new racing widgets as well as jarmin's morning report feature the racing calendar widgets lets you see a list of your upcoming events you predicted finish time and what weather you can expect on race day meanwhile the race widget automatically generates daily workout suggestions based on your personal training needs. The morning report pops up on the watch first thing each morning and gives you a summary of your sleep, the weather and some of your recovery metrics. Altogether, these are helpful tools for runners too. Triathletes can also benefit now that Jarmin's added the triathlete activity to the Forerunner 255 lineup. I'm currently training for a 10K, so the racing widget and daily workout suggestions have been helpful in demystifying what I should be doing on a given day. My only beef is that as with many German features, the user interface is confusing, especially when the watch tracks so many metrics. The racing widgets don't com come preloaded you have to add them yourself. It's also not always apparent when you ought to press a button to access sub minus. So you kind of have to poke your way around until you find what you want. I can't say I'm surprised. This is typical of German watches that use its traditional uh, five button manual navigation. German veterans are probably used to the drill, but it's daunting for newcomers, especially if you are coming from a different platform or a touch screen watch. Jarmin's recently started including touch screen and button navigation on its more premium watches. So hopefully we'll see that trickle down to more affordable models in the future. I reached out to Jarmin to see if it was just my unit, but Spokesperson Stephanie Schultz said it, it could take up to four weeks to begin populating. It's possible that my unit is taking longer than average because there are few nights I forgot to wire it to bed. I understand the concept of building a baseline over time, how that's better for accuracy. The aura ring and hoop also require you to build baseline over a period of time. That said, it usually doesn't take nearly a month. This isn't necessarily a deal breaker, however, because the accuracy trumps impatience at the end of the day. Plus, as I mentioned, Jarmin has no shortage of recovery metrics. 
I just would have appreciated this extra insight going into my 10k this weekend. By the time the data starts popping up, my 10k will have come and gone. But a less than intuitive interface and earring on the side of accuracy are small potatoes. I loved using German Phoenix 7 as a shaper solar, but I had an excellent experience using the Forerunner 255S2. The 255S is perfectly suited for my needs, and I didn't feel like I was deprived of his full training in search and metrics. The only feature I really missed from the Phoenix 7 series was real-time stamina monitoring that said i wouldn't pay double for the price to get long story short i rec highly recommend this to anyone looking for a comfortable no frills long lasting gps watch that won't break the bank it's 50 dollar buck more than its predecessor you have to factor in that you are getting multi-band gps at a bargain and while this was prioritizes runners the fact that it's a tri uh, triathlete support also makes it a compelling alternative for folks who want a multi sport watch on a budget. The Forerunner 255S may not be the flashiest German device you can buy, but it's the one that will give you the most bang for your buck. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.